Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, you'll have to excuse my voice. Last time I was filming, I was saying I feel like I'm getting sick, and I did. I've been out all week, and by out, I mean just like laying down. But I'm finally feeling better, but like, you start to feel better, but then your nose and your like throat continue for like a week on, and I'm just plugged up with snot, so it's super cute. I have a nearby tissue if I start, you know, oozing. <laughs> I'm always so gross. Why do you guys watch me? Squeeze me. But today I wanted to share with you a beauty haul. This is actually not all from Sephora. Actually, very little of it is from Sephora. I have some stuff from Sephora, Ulta. I did a ColourPop online order. I have some PR stuff I'm gonna show you. So it's kind of just like a collective beauty haul. And this video is actually sponsored by ShopTagger, which is a website that I love and I've worked with them before because I truly love them. If you don't know what ShopTagger is, it is a website and an app that you can use to save money. It's free. It's amazing. All you do is you insert the button on your browser on Chrome and that's pretty much it. You shop as you normally would and you can create lists. My two lists are staple favorites and my wish lists and I have my staple favorites to tell me when my favorite things go on sale and then the wish list, you know, just to tell me when the things I'm wishing for go on sale. So basically once you add something to your list, it will notify you through email if there's any price change at all, any sort of sale going on, it will let you know. A feature I also love is it will tell you when it's back in stock. I actually just added the Morphe and Jeffree Star brush bundle to my wish list because I cannot find it in stock anywhere and I know that ShopTagger will alert me immediately and I will buy it immediately. So yeah, even though the main point is to tell you when things are on sale, I also love it to let me know when things are back in stock because I find that just as helpful. And what's also nice is if you're looking for something to go on sale, you can add it from a few different stores. So if it's like a foundation you want that's available at Ulta, Nordstrom, and Sephora, you add them all and then when any of the three go on sale, it will alert you and you can get the best deal. So you guys know I love that website. I get tweets all the time and comments saying like, hey, what was that one website? It's ShopTagger, it's the best. I use it all the time to save money on online shopping or like I said, alert me when things are back in stock. So yeah, and like I said, it's completely free. So I will have a link down below where you can sign up for free, get your lists going and let me know what you want. If you guys wanna know like what's in my wish list, we could do like a whole video on that. Just let me know like my wish list makeup. That might actually be really fun. So just let me know. But otherwise, let's go ahead and dig into the bag. Like I said, not all of this is from Sephora. I just kind of threw it all in here to like remind me, hey, film a beauty haul. I love filming hauls because I'm gonna be talking about all this stuff like anyway, so I like to show it to you first. I don't know, I just love watching hauls and I love filming them, so we're doing it. I feel like I need more chapstick. Let me show you probably what I'm like, well, I don't know, I'm a lot of, I'm excited about a lot of this stuff, but I'm really excited about the ColourPop Villains Collection. I I'm so excited. So I ordered this from their website, and let me tell you, ColourPop offers sales all the time. So if you have ColourPop stuff you wanna to add to your wish list, do that, because they have sales constantly. But I was seeing things pop up about the Villains Collection, and it's a huge collection, and basically each of them come with a lipstick, a lip gloss, like a eyeshadow, it's like a cream glitter situation, and then a highlighter. And then there's an eyeshadow palette. And while I wanted a lot of it, I was being realistic about like what I would actually wear. So I only ended up getting two highlighters and a lipstick. I got the Maleficent highlighter and the Cruella. Cruella, I can never say that. Um, so let's just look at them. First of all, the packaging is literally incredible. It's like neon signs of them. I'm obsessed. So the Cruella shoe. I can't speak today. The Cruella Super Sock. <laughs> The Cruella Super Shock Highlighter is called You Idiots, You Fools, You Imbeciles. Quite a long name. And even, I'll show you in a close-up, like the detailing of the design on the back. It's like all geometric patterns, but it has like a little cutout of Cruella. It's so cool. So this one is very, you guys can't see any of that, but it's very like frosty, but like champagne-y frosty, if that makes sense. It's gorge. It reminds me of like a Becca color. Um, can you see that at all? Probably not, but these were the most two like shades I would be able to wear out of this. And then the Maleficent one is also freaking badass and this one is called Mistress of All Evil. Hell yeah. This one reminds me more of like my um, Kylighter in Cotton Candy Cream, which I went on the site the other day and it wasn't there, but then somebody messaged me saying like, oh, it's back and I never checked. If they discontinue that, what am I gonna do? <laughs> but this does remind me of it a little bit. These feel so nice. Yeah, this one is definitely more wearable and actually like maybe really close to my Kylighter. Um, it's right there. I didn't mean to flip you off, but that is beautiful. So I'm so excited to try these. And the other villains they have are Ursula, 
Hades, Dr. Fasalalala, I can never say that so I call him the Shadow Man, and the um, Snow Queen, is that what she's called? The Evil Queen, something. And they all look badass, so just look at like what colors are right for you, because there's a ton more than the two I got. And then I got the Cruella lipstick, which again, this box has the like neon Cruella on it. Ironically, I wanted to try one of these because I've heard really good things about the ColourPop lipsticks. Um, I wish the packaging had Cruella on it, mainly because I still have um, my Cruella MAC lipstick that I'm not going to use anymore because it's way too old, but it's just like a red color. It still smells fine, but but I would have loved to have like two, you know, that'd be so cool. But this is just like standard packaging for all the villains lipsticks. But this is just called Cruella. I and mean, it's this really pretty like bright orange lipstick and it says villains on the side. I'll show you in a close up. But this I just thought would be like a really nice pop of color for spring and summer. Like oh, how good is that? And I love red lipstick, so I'm always looking to try more. Yeah, those are the three things I got from the ColourPop Villains collection, and I'm really, I haven't tried them yet, and I'm really excited. This is pretty much like a dedicated true haul. I haven't tried any of this stuff, so I'm pumped. Let me take off that swatch before I get it on my shirt, which by the way, I keep these in my vanity. They're the Sephora Watermelon Cleansing Wipes. I love these, I'll link them down below but they smell really good. They're not like too strong and they do a good job of getting off makeup. So I'm uh, just wiping away my swatches. And I believe the ColourPop stuff is available on Ulta. So I will link it there because I feel like they also have really good sales, but I, I ordered it just from the ColourPop website. So you can do either or. Now let's get into what I got at Sephora and then I'll get into the PR stuff. Okay, so I have said a thousand times I'm over like cheek palettes and I freaking bought one, but this is the Cheerleader Bronze Squad from benefit. It's $60, but it's $150 value. And you do get a lot in here. I mean, $60 is still a ton, but you get five full size powders, which is cool. So here's what it looks like. Jaclyn Hill used this or talked about this or something. She liked the shade cookie and it is a beautiful highlight that I like bought the whole palette, but I was also interested to play around with the new Hoola Caramel. It's more like warm toned than the original Hoola. And I also got rid of my original Hoola because I hated the packaging, how deep it was in that box to get my brush in. So I thought that this was kind of cool that I could just like swirl it in the palette. And it also has my favorite benefit blush, Coralista. And then it has Gold Rush, which I actually do like. I have a little sample size of this that I, I don't know where I picked that up, but I do like it. So I don't know, I just was in the mood, so I bought this. I mainly bought it for the cookie because as of now, they don't sell it separately, but I've heard they're going to start selling it separately. But it is gorgeous, you guys. Look at this. Let's put it on, shall we? We shall. We're using the Morphe M510 brush. I'll link it down below. Oh, oh, I have some shit under my eye. Okay, I have mascara everywhere today. Okay, back to this. Oh my god. I mean, I'm adding highlight on top of already catastrophic amounts of highlight, but oh my lord. It is glorious. Like, it is so good. Yes. Okay, great. $60 well spent. But like, look at that swatch. It is beautiful and I think it would be flattering on so many different skin tones. And the packaging is super cute, so I'm excited to play around with this a little bit more. You do get the little stupid brush, but I probably will never use that to be honest. I would have loved like a sixth powder, like maybe the Hula Light. I really want to try that, but yeah, got that. I also got this on a whim because they had it like right in the front. I swatched it on my hand and I was like, that feels incredible. But then I felt better because Jessica Braun just talked about this in her um, favorites video. And I was like, oh great, I bought, I bought it blindly and apparently it's good. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I love my blur stick. Keep it in here at all times. I love it. It fills in my pores like nobody's business. And apparently the deal with this is it's supposed to feel super hydrating, but also super like grippy for your makeup. And I haven't used it yet, but according to the swatch that I put on my hand, it really felt that way. Like it feels so nice, but grippy, but like doesn't pill up like some other primers do. It has a very light scent. It really doesn't smell like anything. It just feels good and I am so excited to try it. And it's this weird like green color. But yeah, picked this up on a whim. Can't wait to put it all over my face. And then the last thing that got me in like the little checkout section, which I haven't dying to try this, is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, which the packaging is so cute. This is not the full size. This is like the trial size. I've run out of my favorite moisturizer and I'm trying to find other ones that I like. I don't really smell anything. Oh no, I do smell hella watermelon. Oh my God, that smells great. And this is kind of more like a thick, gel and I'm gonna use this tonight <gasps> that feels incredible oh my 
I cannot wait to try that. Oh my gosh. And how beautiful is this packaging? Like I love the all pink moment. I just saw that they came out with a like pineapple serum and it's the same thing, but it's in yellow and it looks like a pineapple. But I've just been hearing a lot about this brand and I want to check it out. So I'm excited after I have, I but again, bought that blindly. Just like, eh, I want to try it, but that felt so good on my skin. Now let's get into some PR stuff, which I mentioned these on my Facebook. Nope. <laughs> my Instagram stories. Physicians Formula sent me the three new Butter Blush shades, which you guys already know I'm dying over. I'm wearing one of them today. I was wearing it in my last video as well, and I got a lot of compliments about like my face, and I really, I owe it to this. So this is the Butter Blush in Peachy Beach, and I'm wearing it today, but I will swatch it for you because, because I'm amazing. That's why. So it's very like corally and peachy it's gorgeous it's perfect for summer and i will say the new three shades are shimmery a touch but like not enough to bother me and not enough that i don't want to wear highlight i know people are weird about shimmer on your cheeks and i was kind of freaked out about it because i do have texture everywhere right now i don't know what's happening with my skin but i am loving this it's just a, a little bit of sheen to just bring a little bit of like light to your face it's going to be so gorgeous in like the spring and summer which we're in the spring so never mind oh but i'm so excited and then this next shade is called copper cabana Anna. I haven't tried these next two shades. They're a little bit darker, but I'm gonna make them work anyway, cause you know, why not? This is probably like the deepest of all of them. It's right here. I'm gonna have to use a light hand with that, but I'll definitely try it out. Again, it's kind of like the same, along the same lines, just like deeper and more like coppery, if that makes sense. And then we have Saucy Mauve, which I think this one is the Walmart exclusive. I know you can get all three of them on a Physician's Formula website, which I will link it all down below. Everything I talk about, I will link down below. Did I already say what this is called? Saucy Mauve. My sister-in-law, Bradley's sister, got this and she's obsessed with it. It just looks so like good and neutral. A rosy color, but more mauve and more shimmery. So it's right there. Oh, yes, I cannot wait. This might be like glorious for the fall. Oh yes. So you guys know I love my butter blushes. I actually have it on my to-do list this week to declutter my blushes because I don't really use any of them because I just use my butter blushes and now I have seven of them, so my other blushes don't stand a chance. So we're gonna declutter them. That will be up soon-ish in life. I haven't even filmed it, so don't get too excited, but it's coming. <laughs> and then also from Physicians Formula, they sent over the other eyeshadow palette that I don't have. So this is the butter eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade Sultry Nights. And I love my other one so much, which I have right here, I can show you. That's what's nice about filming in here is like I have everything I'm talking about. So if I'm talking about something, I can grab it and show you. I am obsessed with this. I haven't used anything else since I got this. This is the Tropical Days palette. I love uh, all of them. I can't even pick. I mean, I don't really use this purple and blue so much, but I use everything else. I was going to buy this anyway because I was so like excited about that that I wanted to try this, but they sent it. So I'm so excited. So it has more kind of like shimmery coppery gold colors another matte like brown transition shade that i'm excited to try a de like a just like more matte shades as well but then the shimmer shades are awesome so i'm going to try that out and let you guys know but oh why is there foundation all over this my lord i'm a mess right now but i truly love my tropical days one so i am assuming i will love this just as much and i'm happy to have both Let's see, Essie sent over their latest collection, which is something about a tea garden. I'm so sorry, I don't remember. It's like a tea party, garden party, in which I'm wearing one of them right now. Let me take off these swatches, they're distracting. So on my nails right now, I have this one, which is Stirring Secrets, which I really, really love. I have it on my toes too. I had an issue on, this is, that's a boring story, I'm not even gonna tell you. Basically, I had a jacked up toenail and I had to wait like a month for it to grow out to get a pedicure. So like my nails, my toenails were so ready for a pedicure and you know how like sometimes you're just a certain level of cranky that nothing except a mani-pedi can fix that's what it was I went yesterday got my nails and my toes done and like having fresh toenails there's nothing better it just looks so good on my toenails so I love this color and then the color I'm most excited to try next and I might do it on for my Easter nails is a touch of sugar it's like this light pink with just a little bit of like iridescent gold shimmer in it um, I'm not usually into the shimmer but like I'm so into that and then we have pinkies out which is more along this they're all like a touch of like that gold shimmer running throughout which is fun for spring so this one is called pinkies out it's more of a coral we have tears of joy which is kind of like a iridescent purple with like that blue shimmer running throughout it's super pretty we have teacup half full i love that name this is more of like a brown bronze which is super cool and then we have rain check r-e-i-g-n the way the kardashians spell it and this is more of like a like a gray blue green it's super cool my sister was over when I got these nail polishes and she was like, 
gonna need some of those. And I was like, you have to cool your jets. But yeah, I know you guys miss me talking about nail polish and I got these so I figured I would share. As always, I will share them on my Instagram. So go to at Amy Lynn Butchin for updates on nail picks if you want to. <laughs> and then last but not least, my Clarins sent over something from their new My Clarins line, which I've been seeing a lot about and I'm kind of confused at what it is. Is it more of like a teenager friendly line or is it more of like an eco-friendly line? I don't know. I've, I've made up both of those in my head. It could be neither. But they sent the My Clarins Refresh Hydrating Beauty Mist. Like, oh, that sounds amazing. I know that it retails for $20. I saw it at Ulta the other day. That smells like something from my childhood. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. But I hate when I can like smell something that reminds me of my childhood, but I can't pinpoint it. But oh my gosh, that smells incredible. I can't wait to try that. And I love the packaging. It's just like super sleek with a pop of color. Um, it's like pretty durable, so that's cool. So yeah, it says it has coconut water, robina flower water, fig, I'm excited to try. And then along with that, they sent this little, kind of like, I don't think this is the full size, but the Reboost Hydrating Refreshing Cream. So let's see what that feels like. But I have loved whatever I've tried from Clarins, so I'm like wanting to try more. Mm, that smells so good and it feels so good. I, for some reason I saw this and I thought it was gonna be a primer, but no, it's a face cream, so. Oh, and that feels really, really good and like fills in my wrinkles a little. Great. So yeah, I'm excited to try both of those. I think there's like three different lines inside this line. So these are both from like the Refresh or whatever. I hardly know what I'm talking about. I'll have the link down below. But okay guys, that is it for my beauty haul. I feel like it wasn't that much, but I also feel like this video was like 30 minutes long. So who knows? But as always, I will keep you updated in like favorites videos or getting ready with me videos, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, like I said, check the link down below for everything. I will list everything. And thank you again to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. Again, sign up, it's free, create your lists. It's so much fun. It's like a great thing to do on a Sunday afternoon, just like make your lists, organize everything and be ready for those sales. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out to know what you like and it helps me out on YouTube, <laughs> helps me grow. I'll have my face right here so you can subscribe if you'd like and then I'd have some more videos down here for you to watch. But yeah, I love you guys. I will see you very soon in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.